At Watches and Wonders 2023, Rolex unveiled their new line of timepieces this year, and they've certainly caught everyone's attention. While revealing some successes to their previous ranges, they've also shown a somewhat experimental side to their designs. The absence of some watches, like the now discontinued Mil Gores, has left a bad taste in the mouths of watch collectors, but an entirely new addition to the Rolex family has left people shocked. Rolex's choices for this year have created some controversy, and some decisions by the luxury brand have led to polarizing opinions on either side. Regardless, this year marks the start of an era for Rolex, since the bold choices they've made are quite unusual, even for Rolex. For anyone that's labeled Rolex as boring, this video's for you. Stick around to see all the timepieces revealed this year, why the newly introduced timepiece might just be Rolex's best yet, and why the new line has something for everyone. Let's begin with the Explorer, now available in a 40mm dial. While some brands are following the trend of making their watches smaller, Rolex has gone ahead and decided to make the classic Explorer timepiece even bigger. This is the biggest the watch has ever been since it was first released in 1953 at a mere 36mm. It did get to 39mm in 2010 and 2016, but it's mostly stayed the same size since its launch. There isn't much else that's changed about the Explorer, but this specific change was rather unexpected. This year, the Explorer line retails for roughly $7,250 to $12,000. A somewhat expected entry to this list is the new Skydweller. Though much hasn't changed about it, it is now powered by an upgraded 9002 caliber movement and comes in a new line of color options, black, mint green, and blue green. The mint green has caught the attention of quite a few collectors since this was previously reserved for Datejust. This watch comes with a rubber strap option as well as the standard chain bracelet. The timepiece now costs almost $16,000 for the cheapest version, up to $51,000 for the Ever Rose Gold version. Next on the line is the highly luxurious, profoundly elegant and very golden GMT Master II. First introduced in 1955 and targeted toward airline pilots, this watch is for all the travelers out there who want to keep track of two time zones. The Caliber 3285 in-house movement powers the watch which was launched a couple of years ago. While the changes to the new model aren't much, the addition of all yellow gold and two-toned steel and gold color options has caught the attention of many since it's been reintroduced after several years. These new colors are definitely pleasing to the eye and very Rolex. The new line ranges from almost $11,000 to $41,000 for the 18 karat gold versions. Next up is the most awaited model for Rolex, the Oyster Perpetual Cosmograph Daytona. Though the series was discontinued, everyone anticipated Rolex to revisit the Daytona for its 60th anniversary, with some subtle yet remarkable upgrades. The Daytona lineup indeed has people mesmerized. With smaller hour markers, restyled contour rings, and a fresh design for the case, it sticks to its classic roots while modernizing itself for the contemporary Daytona fan. The version that stands out in particular is the Platinum 950, with its signature ice blue dial and dark brown ceramic bezel. What's more surprising is that it has a transparent case back, a first for the Daytona series. The case back displays the new and improved 4131 movement, with a Paraflex shock absorber, the energy saving Cron Energy Escapement, a skeletonized oscillating weight, and a bridge decoration with the Rolex Cote de Genève. Beside the platinum version, the watch comes in a black and white panda dial, a gold dial with a black bezel, a white dial with a gold bezel, and a black dial with everything else in the brand's own Everose Gold. Depending on which one you buy, it could cost anywhere from $15,000 all the way up to $75,000 for the ice blue dial version. Rolex knew what the people wanted, and the people knew they wanted another Yachtmaster. After seeing noted sailor Ben Ainsley wear a prototype of the Yachtmaster 42 back in 2021, everyone was yearning for Rolex to release it. Though they kept us waiting for almost two years, the payoff is satisfying. What's particularly exciting about this watch is its use of RLX titanium. This material has been used in only a few watches before and seems like the perfect match for the Yachtmaster. This special titanium alloy blend is exceptionally lightweight and corrosion resistant, making it perfect for everyone who enjoys sporty watches. Though the case is sized at a mighty 42mm, the Yachtmaster aesthetic demands a grand size. A minimalistic design that prioritizes legibility over fancy fonts may sacrifice the traditional elegance we expect from Rolex. It somehow all comes together, 
as one of the most aesthetically extravagant looking watches from the brand. This watch comes in only one color option, a black dial with a black bezel. As for the pricing, it begins at $11,500 and reaches almost $44,000 for the most expensive one. Though some may have expected some of the models previously mentioned coming in Rolex's 2023 lineup, these watches couldn't be seen coming from a mile away. Who knew Rolex likes to have fun with their designs every once in a while? Well, these particular timepieces prove that you probably don't know Rolex the way you thought you did. Firstly, we have the Oyster Perpetual Bubble, a really quirky and amusing design choice that seems to cater to a new target audience, probably one that doesn't mind raising a few eyebrows wherever they go. The bubbles include all the colors introduced by the company in its 2020 lineup, namely Candy Pink, Light Turquoise, Yellow, Coral Red, and Green. For anyone that seems to be running out of color options for their watches, this particular dial has you covered. The watch uses Oyster Steel, made from Rolex's signature 904L Steel, which provides an exceptional shine that reflects light beautifully. The dial options for this watch come in 31mm, 36mm, and 41mm. While the 31 utilizes the 2232 caliber, the 36 and 41 versions use the 3230 caliber. All the models within the Perpetual series cost around $6,000. To add to Rolex's unique entries in the 2023 list are the Day Date 36 models. There are four options in total for this model. Three of these options include striking timepieces, decorated with carefully placed precious stones with a green aventurine, carnelian, or turquoise dial. According to the brand, these colors are reminiscent of the natural shades of the waters of the Mediterranean and its coasts. The green dial comes with an ever rose gold bracelet. The carnelian dial comes with a luxurious yellow gold bracelet, and the turquoise dial comes with a gold or platinum 950 bracelet. This particular set of day dates keeps luxury in mind, and they pull it off really well. The most peculiar option, though, is the day date 36 puzzle. This one may be even more unusual than the Oyster Bubble watch. With puzzle pieces in light turquoise, red, fuchsia, orange, green, or yellow, and 10 baguette cut sapphires of six different colors in place of the indexes. The watch really stands out, but that's not all. The day window displays the words happy, eternity, gratitude, peace, faith, love, and hope, while the day window displays different emojis like a heart. It seems designers at Rolex are going for a flower child vibe, maybe even invoking a sense of nostalgia for the 70s. The bracelet for this piece comes in white, yellow, or gold. You can expect them to cost between $40,000 to $60,000. Finally, we have something that surprised everyone at Watches and Wonders, more than all of these. An all-new timepiece called the 1908 Perpetual. Though the Cellini has been discontinued, it seems like the 1908 has taken its place, and it fits perfectly. The name signifies the year when the company was founded, and the watch offers a contemporary take on a very classic design. It's inspired by the 1931 Oyster Perpetual model, but has all of the upgrades you'd expect in a modern timepiece. This particular piece deviates from Rolex's usual sporty design, with a much more dressy look for formal occasions. The 1908 houses the 7140 caliber movement, with a see-through case that allows for a peek into what powers this watch, similar to the Daytona. With a remarkably thin case, it comes with a leather dual clasp strap in 18 karat yellow or white gold. The 1908 is listed at around $25,000. So what do you think about this exciting new lineup of watches? Have the new models convinced you to save up for one? Why have Rolex chosen to deviate from their standard designs and dip their hand into something completely new? Have they taken it too far this year? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below.